Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another What's Old video for you today. It is Friday. We actually did not shoot a What's Old video yesterday. I think we only had like f maybe four or five sales, and we had a lot going on. We went out and bought a new couch, so that's going to be here in a few months. But anyway, I'm going to turn it over to Kathy, and we're going to see what's sold for us today on Friday. All right, today's yeah, much much better than yesterday. So uh, let's see, I did sell two shoes off the rack that I just listed. Sure these guys, these guys. All right. Crazy sleeping. <laughs> All right. The first one here are these Keens. Um, I actually just what's today. Friday. Friday. <laughs> yeah, so Chris goes to his friends on Wednesdays. So I bought these on Wednesday because I, me and the kids went to Goodwill. Um, super fun for them. <laughs> uh, anyways, so my average cost of goods on these was ten sixty four. I just listed them yesterday and they sold today for forty three twelve plus shipping. That was an off price. And now I like a quick sale, so probably could have got closer to fifty, but plus shipping. But that's okay. Yeah. Happy for the quick sale. Um, and we are kind of starting to get out of sandal season, so. Yeah. Of course, I'm never going to leave nice jeans oh, like this sure. at the store. It could be December and I'll <laughs> still buy those. Well, there's um, always sandal season somewhere, yes. even in December, so. That's true. Um, and then these fit flops were the same, I think. Actually, no, because my cost of goods on these was different. So these were bought a different day, but just listed yesterday. Um, I have $7 into them, sold them for thirty-two sixty-five plus shipping. Oh, and I'm not telling you guys how I'm shipping these. These are both shoe boxes, I believe. Yeah, two pounds. These ones were a three pound, but I did charge the buyer $12.99 and shipping was like $12.32, so. And then these, these are size 11, so they're a little too big to fit in a flat rate. A lot of my fit flops can fit in a flat rate. Padded, padded. Yeah, yeah, padded flat rate. Not those. All right, then we had a viewer sale. We actually had, I think, a few viewer sales today, so very thankful. Yeah. Um, box BF. Yeah, we'll put them first, CM. All right, these are going out to Amy. She bought this J. Jill linen tunic and these Tucker and Tate kids shorts. So um, the shorts I bought for my son, I don't think he ever wore them, but they are pre-owned anyways. I bought them at the Once Upon a Child for $3.50 and the J. Jill shirt came from the estate sale for $3. Um, and she bought them for $35.27 plus shipping. So Amy, thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much she for the support, our, Amy. I thought this was funny. She said, our videos are relaxing. Really? So I don't. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so that was nice, thank you. I feel like I complain too much sometimes, and I always worry that like y'all are gonna think I'm a complainer. Yeah. But I guess I'm generally not much of a complainer. My bad jokes don't get in the way with that either. <laughs> um, so this is a Pendleton flannel. So I love selling Pendleton flannels. This one came from the bin though, and it had a lot of flaws. Like you can see right there, there's a hole in the collar. There was several holes in it, which is mm -hmm. typical of wool. In good condition, this can sell for 50 bucks with the holes and stuff I listed. I think I started at around 25 plus ship, slowly been dropping it, and today it sold for 17 17 plus shipping. I only got $1.60 into it, so very happy with that. Oh, and I keep forgetting to show you what we're shipping in. So right. that, the Pendleton is just first class. What was that, eBay? Yeah. I'll just put it in one of these guys. Actually, I'll just do it eBay more. I thought I ran out of these, but I checked the box and I have a lot yeah. more. And then um, Amy's stuff. Let's do. Oh no. Let's <laughs> do a bigger one. Don't want to squish them too much. So there's that. All right. And then we have another viewer sale from Kim. So box DC. Uh, some little minion crocs these were actually my son's he was obsessed with minions for a while yeah um he did wear these several times i bought them off kittens in a while back for 14 dollars. kim bought them from us for 
1919 plus ship. So thank you again, Kimberly. Yes. Thank you so much for the support, Kim. Um, Kimberly. Yeah. Don't, know don't know how you go. I'm but... just calling her Kim, but <laughs> her address says Kimberly. Uh, do I want one? Which one? Let's do this one. Oh yeah, shipping hip. I want to show you guys the mailers. Let me pull them up really fast. They they have their pre-order today. I would suggest doing a pre-order if you want to get any because they often sell out really fast once they get them in stock. All right, so yeah, if you just go to shippinghip.com, they do have ready to ship mailers, which are like the made, make today a good day, uh, the shells. I don't even think I have the shells. I need to buy a pack of those. The terracotta florals. These are kind of pretty florals for fall. I haven't used these yet, but I do have a pack of these guys. They are all out of these. They said they're not restocking these mailers, but they have them in bubbles still. Um, they got the lemons in two sizes. Um, I have the big ones. I don't have small lemons. And then the right. snowy village is fun for like winter coming up here. And then the newer ones are going to be in, under the pre-order tab. So these are the two we have and we've been using. Um, and then these are the three, no, two that they added today. Um, so they had these in the past in a, a darker green, and then mm -hmm. this one is brand new. So I need to order some, but yeah, uh, we have a link below, a link, right? Yep. Um, and then code is GINGER15. You'll get 15% off, and they ship everything for free. So if you need any cute mailers, there you go. <laughs> Right. Yeah, so we do thank all the support of, from our viewers who have purchased through that link. Um, yeah. You guys have been basically paying for all of our mailers. Yeah, it <laughs> so, helps us a lot. Yeah. Um, it's an easy way to like support our channel without, I don't want to say without spending money because you spend money, right. but if you're going to use that anyways, um, we get a very small kickback. The company is two women that own it, so yeah. it's just, you're also supporting them. Right. So just a fun way to make the money go all around. Versus buying from a big corporate Right, from an Amazon company Amazon coming from China or something. Yeah. I think a lot of Amazon sellers are even small businesses. It's hard to tell. That is true, yeah. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> uh, so these are just a pair of boys Under Armour shorts. They are new with tag. I got these retail arbitrage for $5. Sold them for $19.19 plus shipping. Those will just go out in a poly. I'll do one of these. Alright, in the box AC. I got my hair stuck in my chapstick. <laughs> uh, these are just some crazy eight, like a mall brand kids' clothes. These were my son's pants. I bought them a while back off thread up. I have $6.93 into them and I accepted a $7 offer on Mercari, so making back all my money like minus like a dollar and he did wear those to pre-k a lot so i'm happy with that uh oh this was the one that was stuck the other day so we'll use this guy and then bh oh this is a bundle sale i'm very happy to sell these <laughs> This person bundled my last two pairs of the, however you say that, Dillard's <laughs> brand. I think it's Cremieux, Cremieux but I could be wrong. Like That's that, just yeah. my middle school grade <laughs> French <laughs> <laughs> lessons. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I picked up probably, I don't even know how many. It was at least 20, I would say. To begin with, that was over a year ago. Um, two bucks a piece. They've all sold off. These were the last two. Someone bundled them on their own last night, offered me 21. I think it was like, I think I had them listed around 25 each, but I'll take 21 for both, um, minus my $4 cost of goods, and just get rid of those last two pairs, so. Uh, for Poshmark, I don't know what box. Maybe this, just because there's two pairs. Sort of like a long one. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think they can both fit in there. Every time I see my phone line up, I would just wish it to sale. So that was not. <laughs> How many, what, what percentage of them end up being sales? Like 0.005% no. <laughs> from all your notifications? <laughs> Probably. A lot of my notifications, I have to like go like this to see them. Because I like yeah. set them that way. 
So the ones that light up my phone like this are generally something from either I gotcha. one of them. Okay. <laughs> Um, so this is the brand Can Can. This is a denim jacket. It's sold for $31 with discount shipping. So a Pasha VA offer that got sent out and accepted. Um, we actually bought this from our neighbors who recently moved away this summer um, when we were both out garage, like having our garage sales this Neighborhood summer. Neighborhood garage sale, yeah. Yeah, so they were already, you know, knowing they were gonna move. So they're mm -hmm. trying to get rid of everything. They know that I sold clothes. Um, they have like a college age daughter who doesn't live there. and. They were trying to sell her clothes, so um, yeah. they brought a tub over. I picked a few things out. I think I picked three things out and offered them 10 bucks for it. And this was one of them. One of the three items, when I went to list it, it was like had a big tear that I didn't even notice. So uh -oh. I was going to say I had three thirty-three into each, but now I have $5 into this. Right. But 31 with discount shipping, still a really good sale. And yeah. I miss those neighbors. Well, <laughs> we haven't met our new neighbors yet. They just moved in a few days ago. Yeah, I don't like trying to go knock on the neighbors' doors when they just move in <laughs> and they're getting settled. We like to let them settle in a little bit more. But that that sale, the garage sale, is actually where we got that rainbow vacuum, which we have not listed no. yet. <laughs> well, we've used it a few times. Used it. It's nice. <laughs> yeah, it works better than our it's Dyson, so it's it. <laughs> it's just old looking, but yeah. <laughs> it works really well. All right, and then I sold these Columbia snow pants. These are the ones I picked up in Denver. They priced them at 30 bucks, but I got them on a half off day. So still 15 bucks, which is a lot, but I sold them for $68 plus shipping. So definitely worth it. That was an offer someone sent me. I was very happy to accept. Uh, those are going out FedEx smart post. So I will do probably some sort of box. Here we got one. Or we could do a mailer, right? Yeah, we could just probably do a mailer because well, this box is probably too small. Yeah, we're gonna probably have to do a mailer. So a big poly mailer for those. And then for that denim jacket, that was Poshmark. So just do like a regional A flat box. All right, a couple last sales. Let's do this viewer sale. Candice, she bought one of my manga books. Manga. Oh. I still don't know that I'm saying that right. <laughs> We're just going to say manga. Could be manga, manga, I don't know. We don't, we don't know. So Grab this from me. Um, and I had offered it to her, not knowing she's a viewer or anything, just saw I had a watcher. Um, I had it only listed at like four something. These, the comps are not great on any of the drawing books, but. Yeah, they're not the graphic novels, which yeah. do a lot better. So. Um, and I think usually you could tell if it's a, like a Japanese graphic novel, if it's backwards, if the binding is on the right side hmm. and it flips the other way. That's cool. But I yeah, these are just drawing books. So Which I think are cool. <laughs> yeah, no, there's a lot of people yeah. that love drawing that like anime and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And yeah, I'm we got them all really for like, drawing, four, <laughs> we got a whole box of them for like. They're four, 24 cents each. Yeah, and, we have uh, 24 so cents into it. We so. sold probably five or six of them. You Which is kind of more than I was expecting. I'm, I'm surprised they all yeah. sold online as well as they have. And I haven't even cross posted them. I think other than maybe one, I've only posted them to eBay. So yeah, yeah. Candace grabbed this for $3.99 plus shipping. I'll take it. <laughs> um, that is going out media mail. So I like to put books in like a padded mailer. So we have the recycled ones. Maybe we're out. I see a bunch of them. Who puts those at the bottom of the bag? Not me. All right. This one should work. <laughs> Maybe. Oh my god, this one is. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I mean, I paid for media mail for two pounds because the book's over a pound, but just barely. So I could put it in a box or anything. Um, just like not a USPS box, but any random right. box. Right. I don't think we have so. a real box that would fit that, but yeah. going to what, Hawaii, you said? Yeah, she lives in Hawaii, which I'm so jealous. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to be in Hawaii right now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Candace, thank you so much. She, I forgot what she said. What was it? I think she said she's amazed at how fast we can list items or something. So <laughs> That's all Kathy, guys. <laughs> I am not a good lister. I'm bad at listing, as you could see. Most of that stuff on the table <laughs> is my stuff that I have yet to list. And gonna <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna. Um, and then last sale, let me just, I know where this is. 
back to the closet that we just destroyed. <laughs> I'm actually so happy. This is that other little people clip clop stable or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, we already kind of pre-boxed it. We need to Pat really it wrap it stuff. a little, yeah. But um, that sold on Facebook Marketplace. Oh, that was surprising. It's kind of good though, because they have their own like, you know, rates that are way cheaper. Cause like this is probably seven or eight pounds or something like that. Um, yeah. But the label I selected for Facebook covers up to 10 and it was UPS. Um, and we already checked all the dimensions and everything for all of the, like it, we could have shipped it on any of the shipping carriers and it, we already know that the box is fine. So. Right. That's what we, we try to do on these bigger um, awkward things is try to get the box figured out so that we can know what to charge then, a label. Yeah, just leave it. So, like we don't have to do that much when we're doing shoes. We know they're gonna fit in a shoe box. Kathy's got that all memorized, so we don't really have to think twice about it. But on this bigger, more awkward stuff, yeah. it really helps to know. So Chris just took two of the, so these are like the what we get our eBay boxes in that we get for free. I think we just took two of those and put them together. Yeah, so we'll just tape it down a little bit more and put some more padding and stuff in there. I did have to disassemble it a little bit um, to fit in that box, but it's just a couple screws. And Yeah, and actually he did the same for the one we sold a week or so ago. Yeah, and then the other he messaged castle. the person and he even sent them a little thing to put it back together. Yeah, so. I sent a screwdriver. I don't know if I have a spare screwdriver to send this <laughs> so. one, but... Yeah. Um, so that sold for fifty dollars plus shipping, and I only have five dollars into that from a garage sale, so it's awesome. Yeah. So that's what sold for us today. We're gonna get this stuff all packed up, and we'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, it's actually about ten o'clock at night. Um, once we got done packing up, the kids were kind of getting crazy, and we were really late to the post office. So Kathy just took the stuff off to the post office, but we did want to talk about some of our numbers over the past couple months. So I'm going to turn it over to Kathy, and she's going to tell you about them. All right, yes, so I made a little breakdown here. So I've never done this before, so bear with me. Like, I feel like I'm going to like lose my train of thought. But... <laughs> it is a little bit late, too. Yeah. So. Um, so July, you know, we never like updated the board at all in August. So we never kind of went over July at all with you guys. But um, in July, we sold 368 items. Of those 368, 43 were like personal items. So like either mine, Chris's, the kids's, whatever. Yeah. So those items, you guys know, we generally either lose a couple bucks or maybe make a couple bucks profit, but mostly just kind of like getting mm -hmm. our money back. And I did want to clarify um, that before you get deep. If it's our own stuff, we don't count the loss against our earnings, like for tax purposes. Um, that's just a personal choice. We probably could if we wanted to, but uh, I just figured it just makes it easier. And if we do make a profit on something, we do re record that profit and pay taxes on that profit. If, yeah. If we like lose two right. bucks or something, we just put zero. Right. It just, so. But yeah, so 43 were personal items. This was the breakdown of like platforms. So, okay, Kid is in, we had 23 sales, Mercari 50, Facebook 52, Poshmark 94, and eBay 149. So eBay is definitely taking the lead. Yep. Um, what did I want to say about the 43? Okay, so like as we go down the more numbers, what I wanted to like kind of say is, so those 43, we got back close to $700. That's money we get to keep in our bank account. Um, that if I didn't sell our personal items, we'd be out that $700. Right. But if I was not listing those things, I'd be listing thrifted items. So I would have listed another 43 thrif thrifted items, which after we go through this breakdown, you'll see that like my average profit per item yeah. for the month, which is kind of, I feel like this is kind of low, but it's like around $17 and some change. So. If I listed 43 thrifted items versus personal items, I would have netted an extra like $700 probably. Right. Depending on what items, it could have been more, it could have been a little less, but I did want to say that just because <laughs> I feel like most people don't sell their own stuff that much, right. um, at least as much as I do. For me, like buying my kids really nice clothes is kind of a hobby. And honestly, I buy them with the intention of them wearing it one time, taking a cute picture for future reference, yeah. like, and then selling. So. That's like a hobby. So most people I know probably their kids probably don't have half as many clothes as ours do. So <laughs> anyways, um, our gross sales ended up being eleven three fifty eight fifty nine. So not bad for July. This right. is summer slowdown. 
um, which I'm, I don't really believe in that. I feel like as long as you're listing, you're always gonna make sales. So um, I do think like it's busier in some months of the year, but I've never felt like the summer was like, oh, I'm right. not making any sales. So um, yeah, I was very happy with July, it, especially we were like on a little trip and we did a lot outdoors yeah, and we just did, a lot did stuff because we had the kids all the time. So. Anyways, uh, so the platform fees, then you have to minus those out of the 11358 So all the platform fees combined equaled 165655 And then these are the little breakdowns of them. Um, so eBay, $677 in fees. Mercari, $193. Kitazen, $60. Poshmark, $633. And Facebook, $91. So, and some change, you guys can see that. Um, <laughs> and then the shipping. So I don't count the shipping for um like, like poshmark, poshmark yeah. and facebook and mercari because they're all just like prepaid labels so like i don't know i don't know how most people count their like gross sales number so mm -hmm. this gross sales number is not including like every single time so i made 94 poshmark sales those buyers paid 711 in shipping for each one of those 94 sales but that's not included in my numbers anyway right so. Anyway, so for the shipping costs, obviously that's not included here either. So the shipping that I actually paid out of this 11,000 is 1,045.16. Um, that was 9.31 eBay. I said we don't do Mercari, but this is two dollars and 89 cents because that must have been like um, what is that called? Media mail package. They don't right. offer that on Mercari, so I. That's the only time I really ship on my own through Mercari. Right. And then so like if you did pirate ship, right? You you yeah. would be using that money for shipping <laughs> yeah because i listed as free right. shipping and then just take that off of my profit right. so and then kid is in i went i've been going back to free shipping but even if you charge for shipping on kid is in you still have to take the shipping label out of the cost that the buyer pays so it would still account for it so 111 dollars for kid is in so after that we're left with 86 56 88 which is really good um i think that's really for good. us yeah <laughs> yeah and then keep in mind these are numbers for us we're not really comparing them with any other yeah i just try to like beat myself businesses. every yeah. month that's my main goal is to right. beat myself um which i generally do oh, uh, don't beat yourself up no. <laughs> uh and then you do have to take out the cost of goods after that which i feel like nobody talks about this but cost of goods it's not money that you're losing you get that money back yeah. and then you can just re keep reinvesting it over and over and over again so mm -hmm. Like the eight thousand is what we got back in our bank account in July, um, but yes, the taxable income is after you take out your cost of goods and everything. So right. after we did that, that's three thousand one hundred twenty-four dollars. We were left with five five three two twenty-seven. So that's our taxable income. Although we didn't take out like we have very little overhead. You know, we do this out of our house. We mm -hmm. don't have any employees. Um, what's coming to mind for overhead just this doesn't include my ebay store which is like 60 bucks yeah. this perfectly is like 50. we use services uh, posture va is 25 mm -hmm. but other than that it's just shipping supplies which we do have a deal with shipping hip they don't give me free mailers but when you guys buy them we get a small kickback which we, generally kind of covers the cost of the ones that i do purchase so yeah. Honestly, most of our shipping supplies are probably free but worst case scenario maybe 20 cents a package and yeah. You know, we sent out 368 packages, but most of them are, are free boxes from the post office. So, yeah, I'd say our yeah, our operating numbers are probably one to two hundred dollars. We try to keep very it low. low. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So we've mentioned before we are a debt free family. We've already paid off our home, our cars, literally everything. So our our bills are probably maybe two thousand bucks a month, including gas and food and everything. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, um, we can definitely live off this. I know not everybody can. You know, I was born and raised in California, so I know if I was still living there, that <laughs> yeah. would not be possible. Right. Um, yeah, I think like some of our family members that still live out there were paying like two grand a month for like a one bedroom apartment. Well, stuff, and it's so. it, interesting too, because we do live in Colorado Springs, which is kind of a really expensive real estate market nowadays. Right if now. you're trying to buy a house now, luckily we were able to buy our first house 
what, Very cheap. 10, 12 <laughs> years ago and able to... We bought you know, our first house for less than 100 grand. Right. And then we put some... That cool, same house 10 years ago, it, yeah. it is now worth, what, <laughs> three, three... Probably close to four. <laughs> 350 at least. There's almost nothing in the springs right now under like four, right. like it's crazy. But so yeah. yes, just keep in mind these numbers are very specific to us, but we just wanted to <laughs> kind of share with you guys um, like, you know, our cost of goods and, and like our profits and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, we've never really kind of done, you know, you guys can <clears throat> calculate it yourself right? every single day, but we've never really showed you this. I don't know why. Um, I think the biggest it's part... Like I'm embarrassed. It's no, just it's weird. <laughs> we do a lot of our own kid stuff and that kind yeah. of makes the numbers a little bit different than the average reseller. Yeah, but then again, like I said, so if I listed 43 thrifted items, you can assume this would yeah. be another 500 to 1,000 bucks probably, so. I mean, I think a lot of people are still making, I mean, yeah, my job before, I made what, $25,000 a year, like <laughs> yeah. it's, you yeah. know, so this is quite a bit more than that. Another yeah. thing to keep in mind is Kathy is pretty much doing all of this oh, yeah, so. on her own right now. Yeah. Um, I don't I feel like we never talk about that right. I think some people assume like Chris helps me do everything but honestly he doesn't <laughs> <laughs> he helps me a little bit with everything right. but he doesn't list he doesn't source I mean he sources his own things which I don't list because yeah. I don't know about them which but. as you guys know <laughs> are still sitting on that table and unlisted so if it was up to me to be listing things we'd be in a very bad position right now yeah so yeah right now it's just I mean I li I source list photograph um mm -hmm. type everything into our spreadsheet sometimes he bags the stuff for me but recently we've just had a lot going on so he's been doing house chores yep, like yep. we're kind of like trying to fix things around our home and he does that and then i'll bag myself and put it away but yeah um so i would say like this is pretty much what i can make on my own um chris the whole plan was always for him to list too which it, it's still the plan right so right it will probably happen one day where he'll list and that number will just keep going you know better and better and better so um i didn't talk about this number so yeah we got back in cost of goods three one two four six one the amount i re-spent out in july for buying new inventory was eighteen thirty three eighty eight. so i didn't even spend um, i mean i barely spent over half of what i got back so mm -hmm. the rest it just kind of just hangs out in our account um if I ever want to make a really big purchase, I do have enough money. Like if I, if somebody has a $10,000 deal where I just, I think I can make two, three times my money off of it, I could go buy that if I wanted to. So, right. Yeah, so that just keeps accumulating. I almost never spend more than I get back. Honestly, I probably always get at least a thousand, Reesey. <laughs> I probably at least always get a thousand bucks more back in cost of goods than I can spend out. Honestly, just cause I, when I was doing the stimulus check challenge, I got so much inventory and we yeah. still kind of going through all that. And yeah, I just, there's not enough time of the day to spend all the money, right. honestly. So right. yeah, uh, that was July. And then August was our first month ever, ever, ever with our kids in school, both of them full time. Yeah. Um, you know, they've only had a couple of days off school this month for like teacher work day or something. So it's been awesome, um, <laughs> yeah. and I can just see it getting better from here, so. Which we've also been, well, Kathy's been using that time to work through a lot of our old death pile kind of yeah. stuff. Um, so again, still not optimal numbers, but we're working towards that. Yeah. And, you know, again, in, in August, I was not able to do, I don't think I listed anything in August. You have it. <laughs> I might have listed, you know, 10 things in July, yeah. but. Um, but yeah, we're working towards that. You know, I do a lot. I do all the YouTube and stuff, and YouTube's been kind of keeping me pretty busy lately. Yeah, and he answers all the comments and stuff. Yes. So that's in itself. It's like a full time job, honestly. I I can't keep up with my Instagram messages. I feel really bad about it. Yeah. Um, but we do need a. I don't want to say we need to make this much, but I want to make at least five thousand dollars profit a month. That's kind of like kind of like my bare minimum. Right. Like, not because we need it, but like that's just what I feel good about yeah. <laughs> for myself like well it generally initially i wanted to make like a thousand dollars a week profit like that's kind of my goal but yeah then i want to inch it forward so yeah um so august we sold 431 items i did not have time to go through <laughs> i actually just kind of got bored <laughs> of doing it for <laughs> july so you can assume it's probably something like that yeah like, we're always cycling through our kids clothes and our clothes as well every time i do laundry which is once or twice a week 
I bring stuff up here to get photographed and sold. So you can assume it's at least 40, probably 50 or 60 yeah. of our personal items that sold this month. Um, and our gross sales was 12, 6, 98, 93, which I can't remember. I want to check March. I remember March of 20, oh, it might not even be in this spreadsheet then, huh? Was it 2021? Okay, yeah, March was our, I was gonna say this was our best month, but March is when everyone got the stimulus checks. Mm -hmm. Sales were just crazy. Back then, I don't think we did any of these breakdowns. I did 13,086 in sales, so that was my best month. This is our second best month. Yeah. Um, most of our months were kind of in the $11,000 gross sales range. Usually we're about half, half of the yeah, gross. Yeah, 50% margin, yeah. Minus the kids stuff and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So anyways, very happy with August. Um, and then the platform fees were 1958.01. You can see the different costs for the different platforms. And then the shipping, $1,004.75. And then, yeah, so what that left us with the money back in our bank that month was 97.36.17. And then our cost of goods was high that month. I'm, I feel like I sold a lot of my kids' childhood's clothes, which <laughs> those are between like thirty to forty dollars per piece that I sell, yeah. and I get almost all of it back when I sell it. So it was a high cost of goods, but it's still just money in our in our back in our bank. And then I only spent thirteen fifty eight on new inventory in August. So yeah, um, that's uh, that. September. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we were left with fifty seven fifty nine, and again, this is like pre. This right. is our net profit. We haven't taken out our taxes or anything yet. We, right. We kind of just, we do set money aside, but we figure it all out at the end, just because then we yeah. do our write offs and stuff at that time. So. Yep. Um, is that all I was wanting to say? <laughs> I think that was pretty much it. I think so. So yeah, September we started this board yeah. again. I finally got that. <laughs> um. My yeah. big goal this month is I want to list at least one single item every single day so that's a big goal <laughs> well, my main goal right right just because like yeah i just want to stay active because i always the idea behind. being if you list one you're going to list more but Probably, if you t if you yeah, convince well, yourself that it's only one a day today it's what 10 30 i haven't listed one yet. i'm gonna i have 15 <laughs> drafts ready so i can yeah. list one really quick but yeah um i really do think just listing new stuff just really keeps your stores running even if it's just one thing so yeah um, obviously, it's only September 3rd, but I'm good on the first two days. I'll <laughs> at least get one up here. Um, this is Labor Day weekend. You know, we're going to do some stuff with the friends tomorrow, you know, church yeah. and stuff. So I can at least get one up a day. I know I can. It's just if will I? <laughs> I think I will. Yeah. I like setting goals and trying to stick to them. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's that. I have a whole closet full of stuff to list this month. Yeah. So I probably will source a little but still probably not a ton yet. And then hopefully come October, I can go spend all that cost of goods I've been getting back. <laughs> and I really like to, I kind of want to like source the whole state almost like, I don't want to say the whole state. From Pueblo to Denver-ish, yeah. I want to do like a big shoe trip. Like that takes me a day or two and get as many shoes as I can, so. Yeah, we weren't able to do as much garage sailing as we were hoping this summer. Um, so I think that's kind of on its way out. We live in Colorado. We got, you know, it's been kind of very fallish weather lately. Yeah, there was some gradual past couple but days. It was raining. Yeah, it's been kind of rainy all day, which I is like nice. <laughs> we like the rain. We like the thunderstorms and all that. And we don't like the heat. <laughs> like if it could stay, you know, below 80 all the time, it'd be great. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what our numbers are. Uh, I don't know. Are we going to try to do this? once a month kind of as a recap kind of thing yeah i think that'll help me stay motivated too because yeah be, if it's like jumps down to like oh i only made eight thousand in right. sales i'll be all sad so. right so just keep in mind these are our numbers we don't you know we don't really compare them with any other resellers i do think uh like what 10k gross a month is kind of like a big goal for a lot of people I don't. I want to be a 10k. What? Well, I want to be 10, a 8, 10k net would be nice. 10k I want to be after. 8k net. That's kind of like. 8k net. Like I saw. Right before I like started full time reselling, I saw this like little. I don't want to call it a meme because it's not like funny, like but it was just a, like a, an infogram. Yeah, it just said. Infographic. Um, a hundred thousand dollars a year is two hundred seventy three dollars a day. Like. Yeah. That's the goal that I'm headed towards right now. I my goal was like. I want to make at least $200 net profit a day, which 
Mm-hmm. I never actually, I hit it some days, some days I don't like yesterday, we sold five things, I only made like $80 profit, the day before that I made like 300 profit though, yeah. so um, I think I made like 185 in August a day, so I'm close to it, um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to keep pushing till I get yeah. to the 273 a day. <laughs> Another thing to quickly mention is we do have other streams of income. We do make money from YouTube and affiliates and uh, like our links in our descriptions and all that. We do make more money than we do through the business. And that's kind of what I have been spending a lot of time on because that has been growing. And it's uh, thanks to you guys, all you viewers and awesome subscribers out there. Um, but it is a lot to keep up with. It's a lot more than we kind of ever thought, really, uh, before we started the YouTube. We never really expected to get to where we are as soon as we did. Um, so we're just trying to play catch up with that also, along with the reselling business. So um, we do have some divided time there uh, at this moment, but hopefully things will start meshing together well and uh, start moving in the same direction, just I guess a little bit more smooth. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but it is late. Um, so maybe I'm just rambling now. I think Reese's trying to tell me he's really hungry because I haven't fed him yet. <laughs> what, are you, what are you trying to say? You hungry, guy? You hungry? Go you want, eat? Yeah. yeah. You want to go eat? Oh, bless you, bless you. Good boy. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so I'm going to go get Reese fed, and that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you to all of our great subscribers. We just hit 7,000 subs a couple days ago, and it's crazy. <laughs> Isn't it crazy, Reese? <laughs> He's got so many sneezes. Anyway, guys, we're going to head out, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Good night.